making me do all the work. OK, so um, we're going to just dive straight in with getting the di differentiation done. So you should have 2x minus 2y minus 2x dy dx plus 6y dy dx equals 0. And then when you factorize the dy by dx's, you get 6y minus 2x. Put the other bits onto the other side, and you get 2y minus 2x. And then you divide. And then you simplify. The alternative form that you could have got of this would have been x minus y over x minus 3y, but then you could negate it to make it look like this thing that we've got here. It then says the curve is used to model the shape of a cycle track with both x and y measured in kilometers. I don't know why they even tell you it's a cycle track. They don't even, it doesn't get used at any point in the question. The points P and Q represent points that are furthest west and furthest east of the origin as shown in the figure. So P is over here, Q is over here. Using part A, find the exact coordinates of the point P. So we know here, this is a tangent that it has a gradient which is undefined. And so because the gradient is undefined, we want the denominator to be equal to 0. And then we're going to just do that same process of before, of taking the denominator being equal to 0 and subbing it in. In other words, 3y minus x equals 0, or x is equal to 3y. So I'm just going to sub straight in here. So that's going to be 3y squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 50. So 9y squared, I think I've written something wrong there, haven't I? It should have said, uh, it should have said 2xy like that, minus 6y squared plus 3y squared equals 50. So that's 6y squared equals 50. So y squared is 50 over 6. In other words, y is equal to, when you do 50 over 6 square rooted, you get 5 root 3 over 3, but it's plus or minus. And it's good that there's plus or minus because we need it to be referring to the two different points, which means that x is equal to 3y. So x is equal to 3 times this, which is going to be plus or minus 5 root 3, where the plus ones correspond to the plus ones and the minus ones corresponds, uh, correspond to the minus one. Yeah. Good. So when you look at the P, P that they want, it has a negative X and a negative Y coordinate. So you're going to then say, so P is going to be minus 5 root 3, minus 5 root 3 over 3, as it is in, you don't have to write this bit, but it's in the third quadrant. Because remember the quadrants, as you go around the graph, it goes first, second, third, fourth. So you, if you wanted to use the right language, you'd say it's in the third quadrant where both of them are negative. And then part C of the question says, explain briefly how to find the coordinates of the point that is furthest north of the origin. So it is talking about this point here. We were just as a class, we were saying, is it talking about this point here? Well, no, it's not talking about north of the origin. It's just saying, what is the furthest northern point that there is? So it's this one at the top. And that time, if you had a tangent, that's a terribly drawn tangent, but <laughs> that's definitely not a tangent. But the gradient would be 0. So this time we would make the numerator equal 0. We would substitute back into the equation. And we would take the positive values for y. Because you could also get this one that you've got down here. And you need to differentiate between them. If you didn't say that you took the positive values, you would have not been clear that you were finding the most northern one. So for part c of the question, um, I would. Make the denominator of dy by dx equal 0. Solve this simultaneously. With the curve equation. And I would take the positive answers. for the no most northern. 
Now, I kind of hate that that's just a one mark question. I'd rather them just say, find the most northern coordinate. I don't want to write down a sentence about how to do something. We'd always much, much rather just like do the thing. Have I written numerator? Oh dear, sorry. So I wouldn't even have got the mark even for writing that all out. Like, which is why I'd rather have just done the question rather than make the mistake. So yeah, we would make the numerator because we want the gradient to be zero. Thank you for pointing that out, okay? So what I'm gonna suggest we do, because we there's not tons of these questions, I'd rather you do this question from the mixed exercise, mixed exercise nine, question 32. I'm not gonna do that now, because I want us to have a look at some other things as well, okay? We've got enough time to do this, I think. Yeah, we've got about 35 minutes. <laughs>